Oh god. And we're back with the adventures of Barty and Hermione. The dynamic duo that everybody remembers as the heroes of Harry Potter. Right? <laughs> I mean, half of that's true. <laughs> could be worse. I could be playing as somebody other than me <laughs> and really make it wrong. There's a thing here for you now. Ow. Stupid Whomping Willow. Do you think it got that name before or after it beat the shit out of the guy who named it? Because, like, you know it had to have happened, right? <laughs> Changed uh, characters instead of uh, spells. Oh, and I uncovered yet another one for you on the right. Oh, well, it's one. Oh, sorry. It's one thing down. So uh, hopefully these three levels aren't insanely short and make me feel dumb for cutting this year in half. But you never know. Could happen. Oh, and... Bonk. Aha! I hit you in your weird tree antenna. In the... Oh, God. In the thing, it was like the roots, right? There's like a knot on one of the roots that you had to touch and then it calmed it down or something. Yeah. That's why uh, the guy who turned into a rat, what was his real name? He's Scabbers, but his real name was like something really stupid. Uh, but anyway, that's why they needed him, right? So that they could go through there, because since he was a mouse, he could sneak past everything and do it. What a shitty life that guy must have led, right? What? I mean, if only it worked like it does in the books and movies. Although I don't think, did they do actually do that in the movie? No. No? No, just um, yeah. Well, how did they get past it? Because I know they used the tunnel that's under it. Or maybe they skipped that part too. It has been a while. And zap. Oh, God, this last one just refuses to. There we go. Apparently the left side is invulnerable. you got to hit it on the right. Would you... Never mind. I was going to say, would you help dumbass there? But apparently he's content. All right. So this is the tunnel that leads to the Shriek Shack, correct? Right? It could be. I don't know. Well, it's where, because... It goes into a house or something. Anyway. Yeah, the Shriek Shack in Hogsmeade. Because when... Uh, Lupin was at school. They needed to, uh, oh, there we go. They used to take him through here on the nights of the full moon. Because every, uh, yeah, right, yeah? So, they used to take him through some tunnel, anyway. It was this tunnel. Yeah. You know, you generally pay more attention when you read than I do. You should know this better. I know. You know what the weird thing is, though? Playing this here and other things about Harry Potter never once made me want to reread them. You know, there's some things where it's like, I'll hear about it or I'll see like just like the most minor reference there is and I'll immediately want to do it. Harry Potter? Not so much. Not sure why. Probably because I never finished the uh, movies. Which, you know, probably helps me not want to watch more. There we go. And with that. Okay, we need one more anvil to get rid of that. So, you remember, did you watch all of Michael and Gavin playing Outlast? No. No? Because no. I was going to say Outlast 2 came out. You know, Outlast 2 came out like the same week that I started playing the Is first that the one. one you were watching last night? Yes. Yeah, no, I watched like 15, 20 minutes. I don't know what to do. No, but that was the second one that I was watching last night, though. Oh, I might have finished the first So I don't know if I showed you the first one or not. Oh. not Uh, because you gotta like jam it in the hole. There you go. Got the one. There you go. Which should make this go wee. And there we go. Uh, the second one looks like it's a lot more complicated than the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like in the first one, there was 
there's points, right? Because, of course, you know, I start playing the first one on my channel, and like a week later, the second one comes out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best timing with some of my videos. But in the first one, right, there was things where it's like, well, like the one, there's this thing over here for you is uh, when you reach the cafeteria in the first one, right? There's a guy who had set it on fire and he's just sitting there waiting to die. And uh, he starts giving you a little speech about why or something. And uh, if you record him doing it, you get, your guy writes down a note that you get. And it's one of the collectibles, right? And, uh... Oh, I did get it. Okay, I didn't even know he was there. I just kind of fired. But in the second one, when it's uh, something that you have to record like that, you actually have to. Uh, there he is. You actually have to like hold the camera on it as like this little bar fills up. So while in the first one you knew you were standing still, you didn't like it didn't feel bad. In that game, generally, if you're standing still, you're dead. Uh, so when you were standing still to record stuff, it was for like a couple seconds, right? This one here, though. In the second one, you stand there and it fills up oh so slowly. And since it's Outlast, you're like, I shouldn't be standing still. I shouldn't be standing still. I shouldn't be standing still. Oh god, I can move again. Yes. <laughs> uh, or, well, you know, that's how Michael and Gavin play it anyway. To be fair, I stand around a lot in Outlast. Because uh, as soon as you know that unless somebody's chasing you, there's nothing that'll fuck you up as soon as you get that through your head it's fine oh we need a mandrake for that i do not either uh so yeah like i'll just be standing there doing just nothing and not caring whereas if you watch like most people playing it as soon as they're standing still for any length of time they're like mm -hmm. you know oh wenchbane is online oh, how do I that British bastard. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. oh, God. Okay, there we go. Doing something weird down there with that. Aha, I found the mandrake. Oh, God. I need a cupboard. Yeah. Uh, there's a rock there for you. Maybe the cupboard's behind the rock. Yeah, I don't know. There's also a strike thing there. Oh. No. Nope. Well, let's see, do we have Hagrid? Or Fang could do it too, right? Yeah. Uh, we do not. So there must be a strength potion to be made here or something. Otherwise they would normally... Okay, well, as I was saying, there's the strength potion. <laughs> Alright. Uh, is that... That is not the right plant. But this one, purple? Nope. What about yours? And purple. There you go. Oh, and I got two. Potion making 101. A skeleton arm, a tooth, or a fang, I'll say. And a purple flower. Uh, mix those all together in a pot. Drink it, and you'll become super strong. Uh, if anybody at home wants to try that, feel free to not let me know. I have a feeling I don't want to hear the story that comes out of drinking something made out of those things. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Super strong. Although I, I couldn't even... Begin. You took, like, plants and shit. What kind of flower is that? What? These things. It's not a real flower. I mean, it might be based on a real flower. Is there a flower with a little dingle dangle sticking out the middle? Not that I've seen that looks like that, no. No. Oh. I mean, just because it's fake doesn't mean that it's not based on something real. Like, you know how much fake shit there is in games that are based yeah, on real shit? It's ridiculous. Uh, oh, I found the cupboard. It was, it had a giant lock on it. How expensive do you think a padlock that size would be? Like, it was, like, huge. I would imagine a lot, right? Uh, that's a solid point. 
Uh, I think on here they call them silver objects, so I'm guessing it's made out of silver, which would probably make it very expensive. Not as expensive as if it was made out of gold, but that's a different game. Is there gold stuff in the second one of these? And for the love of God, was there something underneath all these green dots that are everywhere? Oh, all those green arrows. No, it's I'm where not. it's gonna unlock the uh the one of five or... Oh god, there's spiders. There's the spitters. Oh god. Oh, I think it might have been these stupid moles, maybe, or these rocks that you're wrecking. Oh well then yeah, that's what it's for. Oh, there's the werewolf, Lupin and uh uh Sirius up there. Die, spider. God, why is there so many spiders? They're supposed to be in the forest, not... Although I guess the forest is right there. And they're probably not very happy with us after driving a car and a motorcycle over top of a bunch of them. There we go. Oh, that was fast. Ish. I think. Yeah. We just unlocked him, didn't we? That's how you... <laughs> I've seen his little weasel thing. <laughs> I was checking the time and he just came off with that. Uh, that actually was really short. Well, we're not done. I know, but I'm just saying if the other two are this short, it's going to make me feel like a real doofus for splitting up this year. Fine, that's worth it for. Come on. Well, okay, here, let's get through. We saved everything. We got the gold brick. Did we save a student in peril? Well, it says we did. Well, I mean, it came up. That doesn't mean we did it. <laughs> I kind of skipped past it, so I would imagine so. We destroyed everything. That's that's how you save stuff. Do we have a detector for that one? Uh, I think no. I don't know. Like we got the token detector. We got the got the token, crest detector. Uh, yeah, well, wouldn't be the first time we've had to go back in between videos to collect us something. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, we totally got him. We may have already had him too. So there's that. All right. Uh, is this one saving Buckbeak or is that the next one? I mean, this one has Buckbeak on it. Oh, this is probably where we unlock the time turner. This is a pumpkin patch. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, is, oh, there's going to be a screamer around here. Oh, he's already there. All right. There we go. Got some earmuffs. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You, little fuck, get in the pot. There we go. Oh, what did you do? Oh. I just came in the closet. <laughs> then what happened with the fish barrel? I don't know. I may have. Yeah. Oh, you zapped it before you yeah, went in. Before I went in the closet. Okay, well, apparently the Ravenclaw emblem is beneath this plant, and I don't know how to move it. Oh, unless maybe. Oh, maybe I did that because I zapped this. Nope. Okay, gotta be careful about that because I can guarantee you freeing him ends this section. So I'll build this. Dunk. So I uh, don't feed him that oh, thing. Yeah. God, there's so many plants in this thing. No, because I don't think we had that spell yet. Because there was a bunch of stuff locked behind it in the last level. Too. Oh. Oh, we both hit it. It didn't look like either of them worked. Aha! The bird got us the thing out of the plant. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> well, I did, because that was the only arrow on the screen, so. Can I wreck this? Aha. Oh, sorry, Zappy. I don't know how to break these. Oh, I see. There's a thing. Chink, chink. You would think that, you know, as wizards, they would have a chain that doesn't get broken being hit by a hatchet. <laughs> Just saying. Like, they're not very good wizards. They don't even do that. I don't like. What's the point of having magic if you don't use it on absolutely everything? <laughs> I mean, if you're a wizard and you, you're you gonna make something, you may as well make it right. Or you think they like went down to home hardware to pick up a chain for that? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, they probably buy stuff. 
Although they do tend to dislike everything, well not dislike, but, yeah, which is weird because, you know, a lot of their shit had, is like the exact same shit that we use. It's probably why they still use like quills and parchment. They don't, they don't trust these newfangled pens. Because, you know, who, why would you trust something that makes it a bit a hundred times easier than carrying around an inkwell wherever you go? Uh, I can't seem to target this thing to... There we go. It wasn't letting me destroy the hive. So... I don't know what I was going... I, I had something and it just kind of flipped out my mind as soon as I said so. Look, my frogs. Your favorite animal. Oh god, not more bees. Hornets, bees. I don't know. Hard to tell when they let go. The I did not. Yes. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're trying to save Harry's ass. Or Sirius's. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, unlike in the movie and book, in the Lego game, when Hermione tries to make a werewolf call, it does not work. <laughs> Ugh. You know, they could have at least let somebody else have the ability to do that, right? Like, it's like it's not good enough that Hermione is the only one that can do everything. She's also the only one who can make impressions, who can do impressions. Like, yeah. <laughs> Out of all seven books and eight movies, okay, well, I'm sure I'm really was the only thing Ron ever useful for was playing that one game of Wizard's Chess? Pretty much. Like, did he actually do anything else? Because, you know, his wand was broken for most... For quite a while, yeah. I guess he did make himself puke up slug. Yep. I guess if you want to count that oh, as a win. Oh, can I not shoot that? One? No? No, I can do... Okay. Oh, I see the record player, by the way. It's being held by that plant. Oh, oh, oh. That was weird. Oh, look. Hunts is online. That one's Ryan, by the way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, only one of these works, right? So where is it? Uh, it's up here. We got it. It'll fall down there, though. Okay, Ugh. Mom, can you help him? <laughs> I didn't quite get that right. There you go, Diesel. Lay down. Oh, what's this now? I made a hook. Can I make it fish out of the chest? There we go. Oh, because that's the record that we need. Is in this chest here, because it's, it's the one that's the most pain in the ass to get there, of course. Yep, that's the one I need. But, first things first, there's something over here. Uh, chances are it's for me or nope, I can do it. There we go. Open says me. There we go. We unlocked Professor Lupin. I don't think. Why'd you go and put that one on now? Just walk him down. Oh. <laughs> what song do you think they're dancing to? Oh. They're all both connected to the. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be a little on the nose. Uh, well, no, this one's gold and has a picture of a wolf on it. Man, I'm glad that came down with me. And play. Now we make wolf sounds. Ugh. Uh, oh, right. Now all the Dementors are here. It's all you, by the way. Hermione does not learn that spell in this game. <laughs> Which is a real shame. You would think that, you know, game's over. All you have left is free play. Like, just give everybody all the spells, right? Right? Like, come on. 
so what if they didn't learn it throughout the course of the game or at this point in the movies or books? Like, Barty Crouch wasn't here to help fight the Dementors either. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, Hermione was not half the shit she was in either. Uh, <laughs> like, look at Star Wars. I don't think either of us use a character that was actually there. Like, when we go through free play, I play as the Twi'lek chick and... Who do you play as? Baba. Right, he plays Boba Fett. And te well, I guess technically he is there in a couple of them, but as yeah. the bad guy. <laughs> right, you do get to kick your own ass a couple times in that okay. game. Ugh. So much destruction. So why? Clean up all your goops. Not you, the game. Just has a bunch of... Even all the trails around. Uh, what's that thing all the way to the left? I go check it out, but the Dementors are there. Or to the right. Oh, they're they're coming. I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> Oops. My bad. I knew you had to beat up Dementors to end the level. I didn't think of what actually calls them to attack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tear apart that tree piece by piece. Oh, uh, what the fuck am I blowing up here? Uh, I don't know what that was. It's like a very shitty red balloon. Uh, do you think there's 98 more of them somewhere? Okay, 98. <laughs> Wait, now I gotta ask. It's not that I don't think you would get the reference, it's whether or not you actually heard me make it. Oh. Uh, What'd you do? Apparently, defeating the Dementors finishes the level. I shouldn't have activated them in the first place. Oh. So technically you did it, but not your fault. It's right, we missed one thing. We can go back and get it later. It's not important. As long as we don't miss anything in the last video, we'll be fine. Because that's when all your achievements are going to pop. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It would have made, it, this is going to be a rather short video. It would have made the other one really long though. So I don't, I don't actually care that I split them up, but still, <laughs> it's just going to be a really short video compared to the rest now. Ugh, going. Or maybe this last level will just be really long. It's the Dark Tower. I remember it being somewhat annoying. Uh, also, you should get an achievement at the end of this level. Because I do believe this is the last level that you don't have Drew Wizard on. Because mm. after this level, I think we finally got the character or something that we needed to get the one of the multiplier bricks. Uh, there's a Dementor ahead. They weren't... They were supposed to be part of Voldemort's army, right? But did he ever actually use them? Because, like, they were in the third book. Because, you know, they had to recapture yeah, Sirius. Yeah, he's chasing me. Because they were here to capture Sirius, right? Uh, and then later, after Voldemort comes back, they say something about the Dementors joining them. But they don't think they ever do anything, do they? No. They do, do come back. Do they? Yeah. I can't. I can't break this. I don't know why it's just not working. Oh, come on. You you had it. Maybe you gotta uh, get the vines off it first. Well, no, because the vines were encased in the ice. I was... Oh, there we... Oh, I had to break the middle piece. I didn't think that was a... Okay. And... Let there be light. Oh, that's another... Oh, nice hit. You timed that very well. Let there be more light. Haha. Uh, this just in. Hermione is God, apparently. So, if you found out that, like, the world of Harry Potter was real, you'd have to just think that Jesus was a wizard out on a vacation, right? Like, just fucking with people. Well, I mean, as soon as you know that there's people that can actually do magic, right? You gotta assume that some of the stories about, like, some of the more wild myths and that would be real 
Oh, whoops. Why do you do that too? I didn't mean to. I'm trying to fix the light here. So you'd have to assume that, like, a lot of the shit... I don't know why you're clapping your hands here. Well, because we rescued him from the Dementor. You could, every wizard in Harry Potter is a giant dickhead anyway because they could fix so many of the world's problems and they just don't. But they don't like the muggles. They all started as muggles. Kind of. They're all at least part muggle. They're all human. <laughs> Are you going to kill the bat oh, thing? Or? Well, after he stops uh, on it. Well, he's, I think he's taking your breath out, actually. Oh, well, whatever. Doing something. Fair enough. That's right, all you need is a piece of chocolate, right? That's how you defeat a Dementor. Sure. He sucks the life out of you and you chew on some chocolate and you're good to go. Oh, look, we got Harry's dead mom. Literally, we have the dead version of her. How nice of the game to not give us a living one. Can't remember, are the ghosts useful in this game? No. Like, can they do anything? I think, like, even Moaning Myrtle. Well, no, I know that. But I mean, I think she has. I think all she has is, like, the Wingardium Leviosa. No, you gotta go the other way so we can get across. We have to tag team. Oh, God. Yeah, Pixie Prick. Oh, God, there's more. Go away. It should be on there. No, I already put it on there. Why did it? See, that's just you. Why are there pixies spawning here? No, you need to use the torch. You need to get rid of my vines here. Yeah. Oh, god damn it, pixie. Get out of my hair. How do I get rid of your vines from over here? You use the torch. You got a purple spell. You're on, you're on the white one. Pixie, piss off. Aha! I will wreck your shit. Wow, she looks really angry when you spam her attack. She's just absolutely pissed. Okay. Up and up. Oh. There you go. Uh, I'd like you to know that uh, it actually put that down for me. <laughs> as soon as I got it close enough. Uh, I don't... Okay, I just did this. I was going to say, I want a bridge too. Okay. Oh, oh careful. Just walk off it anyway. That's right. Fall rescue. Don't go through the door. I'm going to say it every time. It's never going to... No, it's going to be a force. I have it. Oh, look. I came in as Hermione. So as an alternate character, they gave me Hermione. Nice. I know, right? If I don't feel like wearing the school clothes, I can just wear a red sweater, apparently. Oh. Oh, cool. Not playing as the cat one this time though, Let which is last time we played this, that's how I played the entire free play was as the cat version. And for some reason it annoyed you. Oh god. And I don't know why. Oh yes I do. I think there was like something that I couldn't do as the cat. Or something, and it was like really annoying because every time I go into a level I pick the cat and have to like almost immediately switch out. God. Oh, there we go. Look, it took me three tries to get that fucker to stay up there. Oh, look, there's a student in here. Or, uh, I can barely see anything to him. One of the few times where this... Oh, God, well, this, where this split screen fucks me. Or fucks us. Oh, well, you gotta come down here anyway. Where'd you go? Down the ladder on the left. Because there's a dark mat. Well, that's oh, the door. Okay, right down this way. <laughs> you gotta pull in after you jump off. That. Yeah. It's weird. But there's a thing in there for you. And I have a skeleton arm, so we're gonna be building another strength potion. Purple spell. And who do we unlock this time? Oh, we unlock Sirius. Uh, there's got to be more things to blow up, I guess. Because, oh, yep, there was. Boom. 
Aw, look, you made a nice red plant with a purple flower on its head. Doesn't he just look spiffy? Okay, there's another one there. Uh, where's the last one now? What? Uh, cut down this tree, I'm assuming. Oh, I can switch characters. There we go. Got Hufflepuff. Uh, well, you don't get to keep it. Well, I don't know where it went, so I didn't use it. Oh, uh, you had to use it. That's how you got the purple flower. Oh, well, I wasn't chopping down a tree. It was bumping it, literally. Oh, well, I mean, I knew I had something to do with the tree. I saw the flower up there, and it was an axe, so... It's, this, it's a Lego game. What can I say? I expected it to completely destroy everything. Oh, I, oh no! My flowers did not defeat... <laughs> <laughs> it teleported you to take the hit for me. How nice of it. <laughs> I was like, oh no, the Dementor wasn't going to get... Uh, or my flowers didn't get rid of the Dementor and then you just like teleported in front of me. There's something you gotta... I don't remember how to kill this one. Oh, I need to change characters for this. Dumbled over. Oh... Well, hey, good thing I changed. Why don't you aim the right way? Aha! Oh, I don't remember. Uh, you have to do something for it, but I don't remember what it is. Is it something to do with these? Aha! That's what it is. You gotta throw a bunch of junk on the floor so that when he sucks it all in, he like gets cracked in the face by like 20 things. Aha! Yeah, Yay. eat all of that, you prick. Oh. Well, he blows too. What do you know? Uh, oh, wow. That would be nice if you'd do that more, Dumbledore. There we go. Oh, you got another one on your tail. Whoa. So every once in a while, is your character doing that where every once in a while... Why would you do that to me? I didn't. I can't make ice. I can put you in a blue bubble, not an ice cube. But is your character doing every once in a while where he'll actually fling it out instead of like doing the whole animation? Also, that was completely useless, dude. Yeah, if you wanna... Apparently he's just flinging his wand now. Huh? Yeah. Oh, whoops, I hit yeah, the wrong uh, uh, Dude really needs to learn that if he's gonna ice over the barrels on us, he's gotta do it before we've already dumped their contents on the floor. Uh, also, don't know how you got frozen and I didn't in that. Because, like, I didn't, don't think I jumped or anything. Oh, come on. No. That's right, you can free yourself. Well, I guess maybe if you don't de-ice the things, he won't. Maybe the stuff doesn't get sucked in. Wow, that was fast. Hey, we got more dead people. And serious. He's not dead. He doesn't die in this game. They never do explain exactly what happened to him. It's like he went through the weird curtain. Yeah. But did they ever explain exactly what that curtain was? And then go. Hey, there you go. Stud magnet. Do you believe that means you got all of the true wizards? Oh, okay. It froze there for a second. Would have sucked. You would have got your achievement, but we may have had to redo that level. I don't know when it saves. I don't know if it saves before or after it goes through all this. But hey, look at how happy that student is. He's ecstatic. And we only missed one thing this time. I guess that's generally what we miss. I don't think there's been a video where we've missed more than one thing. Nice short one, though. Like, oh, yeah. 35 minutes. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, the video won't even be that long, though. Because, you know, I'll have to cut off a little bit at the beginning when we were setting up. All right. 84.4%. We gained, like, 1.4%, I think, this video. Yeah. But thank you, everybody, for watching. And we will see you next time.